kids and happy Friday. I am jumping in here um, to tell you how to um, submit assignments properly on Edmodo because some of you are submitting things um, through email or comments and some of you are not even opening up your assignments. So some of you have figured this out but I'm going to show it to you. Oh, so here is uh, my profile as a student. I am in our my seventh English uh, and geography class. And this is how your Edmodo looks like when you enter. Always, when you first get on Edmodo, please make sure that you refresh your browser because I post new things. And so you, you wanna make sure that you're not missing any. On your right-hand side, you have uh, your assignments, upcoming assignments. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But how to submit an assignment. So I've re refreshed my Edmodo and I'm scrolling through to see what new tasks I have. Okay, so here I go to your tomorrow's EAL, ELA task. Okay, so I see this, um, what is required of you. What you need to do is not just stop here and then comment below as your assignments, but click open. And it's gonna take you to this assignment page. On the right hand side, you'll see the same notes as to what you need to do. Very clear, your vocab and your questions. And on this side, you have a place to submit it. So in here you have a few options. First one, is you can create a response straight from here. Okay, the easiest to do is click this text response and Edmodo gives you this little box where you can just type your response and look, just, oh, Miss Mark's gonna be happy because it's right here in Edmodo and I don't need to email it to her. Okay, perfect here and you can click turn in. If you don't like this option, you can just create uh, a Word document and it's going to open um, whatever document that you have in your file. I don't suggest doing this option because you guys have different um, different word processing. Um, what I do suggest you do is use a um, file from your computer. So if you're typing on a Word document or in pages, just click this option, file from your computer, and then it's going to open your file and then click on the file that you want to submit, click open, and then you'll be there. Okay. So I'm not going to do that because I don't have a file. If you got something by accident, just remove it the same way that I did, okay? Uh, quick note, if you're gonna do a file from your computer and it's in pages, make sure you put it into a PDF because Ms. Mar cannot open pages, okay? When you are satisfied with what you have here, click Turn in Assignments, okay? Confirm, and you are in. Uh, it's gonna load for me, okay? Once you submit, you can always resubmit your assignment um, and that way um, I'll know that whether you fix something or not, okay? And once you submit your assignment, I'll know that you are done and I get a little email. So it looks like this, okay? So once you do that, you can go home and then on here's this side, I'm gonna show you a quick thing. This is your upcoming assignments. Go to your planner and your planner basically lists all the assignments which you can go from right away um, and you can basically uh, set up your custom class, which you don't need, but all your tasks here. And basically, you can just click straight from here, okay? So um, that's that gives you kind of a one-place stop for all assignments. Now remember, assignments are different than if I was just to post something in the group here, okay? Like for example, this is my teacher account from here, okay? I can, uh, let's say go to, one of the classes, I can click and post create an assignment or I can simply ask you guys a question, right? So this is not the assignment, this is simply questions. I can do this, I can check your wellness. So this is something that I'm doing as aside from assignments, okay? The ones that I'm giving you right now, the ones that you see in your feed, are assignments that you need to click and submit. Once you submit, you're going to see something like this and say view submission, you can see what you have and then you know that you're done, okay? Fairly easy. All right, so um, you have your final task this Friday. I'm going to be um, going over all the assignments tomorrow, and if you have not submitted, I'm going to send you an email or follow up with you uh, in a message right here, okay? So please um, follow through all the assignments and send me questions if you have them.